Yes, sir. Red. Red. Right there. One. Yes, sir. That whole thing. I'll take that. All? Yeah. Okay. One ninety. One ninety. Let's keep it. You got it. Okay. Get me on the vlog, man. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Look good. Thank, Thank you. you. She always makes me wash the grapes before I eat them. Uh, we'll go home and wash the grapes. It's really windy today. There's a lot for sale. My whole concept that this video is how long does the honeymoon last when you're traveling when you're going somewhere when you're gonna be at different places that's my question We all know how when you go somewhere new it's very exciting for the first time and all the stuff that you're going to do all the stuff you're going to see and then you come back the second time is it as exciting or has the love affair ended or is the honeymoon over you'll know if that's the place you should be if on the second, third, fourth visit, that honeymoon's still going on, you'll know you should be there. My second visit, mine's still thriving. <laughs> I'm still in love with the place. I'm still in love with the people, the culture, uh, just everything about it is just amazing so far. I haven't uh, ran into anything that I didn't like, saw anything that I didn't like. Uh, I've always felt safe everywhere I went here. I've been to her residence, which is in the bottom of Southern Leyte, way down there. And just absolutely love the beauty of the place. But that's the way you'll know if it's somewhere that you need to be. It may not be the Philippines, it may be Hawaii, it may be Sweden. It could be anywhere. Just do one or two visits before you make that move from the first move. Because when you come that first time, the honeymoon's lit. You're gonna think it's the greatest place that on planet Earth. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? I'm subscribing. Give a shout out. Shout out. So always be cautious of where you are going to to make sure that you're going to be in love with the place forever. Not just a one-time trip and fall in love and then leave. There's a lot more to it than that. There is so much I've learned on this trip that I didn't learn on the last trip, which I will be making another video about that kind of thing. But you just learn so much each time you come. And like I said earlier, my love for the place, is just keeps getting stronger and stronger instead of weaker and weaker. So that means that, you know, I'd love to be here forever. I love tropical. I, I always love to go to Hawaii. Hawaii, and it's very noisy here. I'm going to tell you. It's <laughs> you, very nice because you got dogs. Chickens, really? loud motorcycles, music, music, karaoke. Music is everywhere. Uh, nine different people talking about something at one time, which that's everywhere. America's bad for that too. Your booty on. 
Appreciate you, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate Diesel you. Diesel Kong, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, I saw you and I was just like, I'm going to pass this guy sometime. You know, <laughs> and sure enough, yep. I went and picked up my renewed ID. and so I just got mine yesterday. You did? Yep. Okay. I'm cool. good for another. How long are you here for? Uh, I've been here like uh, two and a half months. Two and a half months? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm pretty much living here now. Really? Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, I'm thinking about traveling a little bit, but right now, I'm just, I'm just here, man. We're going to Sticky Horror in about eight days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy. Yeah, we're gonna be there. Yeah, I never, I never been there. Um, I've been to Dumaguete. Right. I've been, I've been, I've been coming here off and on since like 2018. How do you like Dumaguete? I think it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's more, it's less touristy than here. Oh, really? Yeah, it's less touristy. I mean, they got the boardwalk and everything, but the only thing is the beaches don't compare. Oh, okay, gotcha. But you. if you're looking at like regular life, you yeah. know, there, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Too. Oh, sweet, yeah. sweet. Yeah, check it out, man. Yeah, man, but, I appreciate uh, you coming yeah. back and speaking to yeah, me. What's your name? Chris. Ricky. Right, nice to meet and you. This is Junalyn. All right, nice to meet you. Yeah. All right, well, you guys have a hey, good Hey, you have trip. a good one too, man. Thanks. Man. Be careful. All right. Came back from yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> now, this bread is made out of some kind of vegetable with dough. And it is amazing. He actually cooks it right here in that oven right there. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Hey, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's it right there. And you said there's some kind of vegetable in here, right? Yeah, malungay. Say it again? Malungay. Malungay. That's good. And it's still warm. Agui. Really good. Agui. How much? Five pesos. Five pesos for three Chess. pieces of bread. Yes. Five. Oh. Oh. Uh, one liter. Huh? One liter. Oh. It's good, but I gotta have a drink with it. Kind of choke me out. But yeah, there's so much you'll learn on your second visit more than your first visit. We're actually going to more places this time than we did the last time. So. I'm learning a lot, what to do, what not to do. I'm learning a little bit more of the language myself too. My first banana in the Philippines. They are, to look how big it is. Lakatan. Look how little it is. <laughs> Lakatan. Lakatan? Yeah. Lakatan. Cola, banana, Lakatan. That's good. No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, uh, I'm, I am gonna lie. I'm gonna tell a big lie right here. United States bananas are a lot better than this. That's a lie. <laughs> this is good. This is real good. A lot better than ours. And there's something here. It's got seeds in it. Fresh. I don't think you'll find seeds in the bananas in America. Cause they're GMO, genetically modified, something else. Uh, the fighting
variety of chickens that they got here. What is that? What is this? Welcome to Ada. What is that? Can we go in? Let's go see what this is. That guy there just hit me. <laughs> pointed at me. How much is it to get in? It's a seashell place where they put stuff together with seashells, but it was 100 pesos to get in for adults. A little side note of what we did learn. We went to the port the other day to come here and there were some guys running up on us and they grabbed our bags and said that you know they were telling us that they'll get our ticket for us they'll get our ticket for us they'll get our ticket so uh we stood there we kind we were kind of uh kind of lost in the moment but he said it's only three thousand pesos we'll go get your ticket and the, it leaves at one o'clock so we allowed them to do it they went and got our ticket for us brought it back to us they were honest they they did exactly what they said they were going to do but the thing was, the right. tickets only would have been like 14 800. to 800? 800. 800 each. 800 each, so that's 1,600 pesos. But they got us for uh, about 1,500 pesos in the whole mix of everything. So just be careful when you go to the ports. If they try to tell you that, just walk past them, go to the desk, and get your own ticket. And you'll save a lot more money, just like you will with the uh, the taxi drivers and the uh, poop poops. Poop poop. That's the cheapest. Poop poop. If y'all have any questions or anything you want to know, I didn't put a lot in this video about what I did learn this trip because I want to do a whole video on it. But if you have any questions of anything that you want to know, just uh, message me, email me, just let me know.